a river delta shaped like a leaf, a scientific outpost in the icy heart of Antarctica, a coastal dune shimmering in the Korean sun. These are not drone shots. They were all captured from 500 kilometers above Earth by a satellite built and launched in South Korea. Hi everyone, I'm Comet, your friendly space guy. Today, I want to tell you the story of NGSS-2, a satellite launched aboard Korea's Nuri rocket back in 2023. After two years in orbit, this remarkable satellite has just completed its mission successfully. NGSS-2 was developed by KAIST Satellite Technology Research Center and it carries a very special payload, a synthetic aperture radar or SAR, designed, built and tested in Korea for the first time ever. The power of SAR? It can see through clouds, rain, even at night. Unlike optical satellites, this one works in any weather, day or night. Over the past two years, NGSS-2 has captured more than 1,200 radar images, averaging three to four observations every day. Its official mission period was two years, but it's still going strong in orbit. Since March 2024, NGSS-2 has been focusing on the Arctic, tracking how sea ice is shrinking due to climate change. In fact, in a recent study, Korea's COPRI, Korea Polar Research Institute, combined SAR data from NGSS-2 with Europe's Sentinel-1 satellite. As a result, they discovered that from 2021 to 2025, a hidden glacier lake behind a million ice shelf in Canada grew by a stunning 15 square kilometers. It's a powerful signal of the rapidly changing Arctic climate. Right now, KAIST is working to turn these radar signals into standard products so researchers can use the data easily for everything from climate science to ecosystem monitoring and disaster response. And here's something else you will want to keep an eye on. Satric Initiative, a Hanwha aerospace company pioneering Korea's next generation Earth observation satellites is also working closely with KAIST. Together, they are building something called NEONSAT, a new microsatellite constellation system. So, what's NEONSAT all about? It's a high-resolution electro-optical satellite, which means it will capture super-sharp images of Earth using optical sensors, offering a different kind of view from the radar imaging we get from NGSS-2. And here's the cool part. NEONSAT will operate as a constellation with multiple satellites working together. This means it will be able to revisit and re-image the same area much more frequently. In this project, KAIST is leading the research and development, co-developing the satellite bus and payload with Satrek Initiative, while KARI, the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, is handling the ground stations and utilization systems. It's a perfect example of public-private academic collaboration working together to strengthen Korea's space capabilities. And get this, 10 NEONSAT satellites are planned to launch into orbit on Nuri's fifth and sixth flights in the near future. If you are excited to see what these NEONSAT satellites will capture once they reach space, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell here on Space Hub so you don't miss any updates.